Ashley from TheCrunchyMoose.com and today I am going to be showing you how I scritch and preen my hair. Um, that is just a process where you massage your hair um, and that does a few things as you, as you do that, I'll explain. And then you preen your hair. Okay, first we're going to start by massaging your hair. And what I do, this is the scritching part of the process. I massage it for, I do this for five minutes. And just massage, just with your fingertips, just gently massage your hair. And I just work, work around and cover the whole scalp, don't get way underneath down here. What this does is it stimulates the hair follicles and it encourages hair growth. And it also encourages your hair to make oils. The oils are called the sebum oils. That is the natural oils that your hair and your scalp, that your scalp makes and it moisturizes your hair. So I do this for five minutes. I'll do this. I forgot to mention, you want to start with detangled hair. So comb through your hair before you do this, brush it, um, whatever you normally do. I just use a regular brush um, and just brush my hair just to get all the tangles out. How often you do this is up it, up to you. It just depends on your hair, your hair type, how much oils that your, your scalp makes. If you have oily hair, you probably want to do this more. Um, scritch and preening is, if you do no poo, then which is what I do, I, I do no poo. If you do no poo, you're going to want to scritch and preen. Um, I mean, it's, it's your best friend. Before I was pregnant, I did it about two or three days, two or three times in between washes, like two to three times a week. However, any of you ladies that have been pregnant before, you know your hair completely changes. All the hormones change your hair. So now I, I have to do it. My hair just, it's producing more oils, but my hair doesn't feel oily or I'm not watching. I'm in fact, I'm watching it less often now that I'm pregnant. Um, it just, it's just different. So now I switch and preen pretty much every single day. It's just what my hair needs right now said before, before I was pregnant, I did it two or three times a week. Now I do it pretty much every day. So once you've completely massaged your hair, you're gonna, you might have a mess like this. And what I do, there are a couple, a couple things you can do now. First is if you have curly hair, you're gonna wanna do it this way. You're gonna, just gonna wanna take, section your hair off and it might be helpful, you know, depending on your hair, how much hair you have, you can take sections off and clip up the top, work from the bottom down. I actually don't have super thick hair, I, I just work through it. So you can just preen it with just your fingers. And what you're doing, you just produced a lot of sebum and you, and you what was just attached to your scalp, you loosened it up, now it's all loose in your hair. So you're gonna take all of those oils and just work them down your hair, just like this. Just work it down your hair. So especially if you have curly hair, and some people prefer this method anyway, don't don't use a brush. Just just use your fingers and just section off and just do a little bit at a time. I, however, don't do it that way. I use my boar bristle brush. This is the one I'm currently using. And I just start with a section and just do one section at a time. Now some people like to do this with their head turned all the way upside down. They feel like it gives their hair more volume. Um, I personally don't like doing it that way just because it it's, I just don't enjoy doing it that way. I'm sure it does produce more volume. I just prefer to keep my head straight up. And you want to be sure to bring your brush all the way to the root. And just work, work down. Okay, my hair, I apologize, it's going to be all in my face. But I'll work through this as quickly as I can. And small sections.
I just washed my hair. Um, to, today is Friday. I washed it on Wednesday. So I washed it two days ago. He said now I'm I'm going, now that I'm pregnant, I'm actually going about seven to ten days before I was pregnant. I I washed it about every five to seven days. And that the difference is just hormones. My hair just changed. It was unexpected. Just one day my hair was just different. Okay, and by doing this, you're, you're bringing all the oils down your hair all the way down to the end. You're, you're moisturizing your hair. It's when I do this, my hair is less frizzy. It's shinier. It takes about, I'm a, I'm a Scott, massage my hair for five minutes. When I do this, and then this takes another five minutes. So it, it does take about 10 minutes. So you are spending about 10 minutes grooming your hair. To, to, if you have more hair, it'll it'll take you longer, thicker hair, which you lucky ladies with, and men with super thick hair, it will take you longer. But 10 minutes of grooming, and then I have frizz-free, shiny, manageable hair. Honestly, it's a lot less time than I used to spend with my straightener and trying to straighten my hair and flatten it out and get, get all the frizzies out. And it's relaxing. It actually, it actually feels good. So it is, it's a little bit of time, a little bit of time, just like 10 minutes a day, however often you do it a week. If you water, if you do water only, that means you don't use any products in your hair. I personally have never tried that method. Uh, but if you do water only, from what I understand from, from people I've spoken to and her, have heard from that do water only, Scritching and preening is super duper important. And as I mentioned before, you want to make sure you start with tangle free hair. In fact, if you get crazy when you're scritching or if your hair just tangles easily and it's just super tangled, before you run your boar bristle brush through it, you might want to at least comb through the ends or run your fingers through the ends just to get the tangles out so that you're not breaking your hair as you run your boar bristle brush through it. You definitely, definitely don't want to do that. This also, all those oils, the sebum oils, it, like I said, it, it moisturizes your hair. It, it keeps, keeps the dead ends away. It, helps keep your hair healthy. Your hair needs these oils. Okay, that's all done. Now I just kind of run, run through one more time. Now when you do this, after you're done, you're gonna notice that you have I have a lot of hair, I don't know if you can see this, I have a lot of hair in my brush. And then you also have a lot of oils on your brush. So I just, sorry gross, I just removed all that hair from my brush. And then there's a bunch of oil here, so I just kind of run it over the ends just one more time just to kind of use up those oils as much as I can. In between each use, in between each use, each time I do this for my boar bristle brush, because now it's really, you're not going to be able to see this, but it's pretty oily right now. There's, there's a lot of oil on there. 
I take, I actually, after I use it, I just stick it in my shower, and I, I actually wash it when I shower. You don't have to do that. You can just wash it in the sink. But I take my soap. I use, this is a liquid soap. It's just Dr. Broner's soap. This is the almond scent. I change it up. I buy a different one each time I buy one, but this one's the almond. I just take a palmful, just a little bit, a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon. It doesn't take much. And then under the running water in the shower, I just do that a couple times or, a, you know, just 10, 15 seconds is all it take, takes. And then I, under the running water, get the soap off and then I dry it on, on a washcloth. I just put it on my counter on a washcloth. I put bristles down, bristles up. You don't want the water collecting down here. It could ruin you can ruin your brush so bristles down and I just let it dry like that and then it's ready for me to use next time so that is how I scritch and preen that's it thanks for watching